guys, Laura here from What Laura Likes. This is gonna be a slightly different video than the video that I promised to do this week. So I know I said I was gonna talk about the liturgy and the liturgical year, and I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, however, one, the last video I did definitely covered this time of year, so if you are curious about living liturgically, at least for Advent and Christmas, I have you covered. So go check out my other video, I'll link it up above. But also, I just finished listening to the Catholic Sprouts for today. This whole week is about um, materialism. If you don't know what Catholic Sprouts is, it is an amazing podcast. Um, I'm gonna link it down below. We listen to it every day. And it definitely sparked this video because as you may or may not know, I am a striving minimalist. It's, I don't succeed. I don't, my house doesn't look clean all the time. Um, the minimal mom um, over on her channel, she has an amazing house where it's like so picked up and I love it. And you know, my house looks lived in all the time, hence the clothes drying on the pull-up bar. But I do strive to only have the things that I need and that add value, right? That's like the main minimalist goal is to only own things that add value. You know, it's like, it does this shoe add value? Yes, it does, you know, I love them. I didn't have cool shoes as a kid, I was a total nerd. And um, I finally get a chance to own Converse's, I'm going to own them. Um, do these, you know, headphones own value? Yes, it's how I listen to orthodoxy while I clean my house. Um, does this teddy bear <laughs> add value? Yes, you know, this is my teddy bear from when I was in the NICU when I was a baby. I love this guy so much and I would never part with him. And I've offered him to both of my kids as a way to like transfer the value and neither one of them want to keep him. Neil had him for a little bit, but gave him back. So now he's back on my nightstand and he needs to be dusted. But you know, again, he owns as value. So I'm going to hang on to this little guy. So it's really important to think about, you know, your stuff in terms of do they add value? Now, the pod, the podcast today was all about whether, you know, you own your stuff or the, whether your stuff owns you. Because as we know, you know, as Catholics, as Christians, our job in this earth is to love others and not to love stuff. And she gave this really great test about, you know, um, how your stuff makes you react. And I started talking to my kids about how yeah, um, my stuff, it was, it's not like a love for my stuff that makes me act poorly. It's actually the dislove of it, like the stress that things create to where like the monster mommy comes out because, and I don't know if you guys can relate, let me know. But you know, the monster mommy comes out where all of a sudden it's like my house is a mess and I storm around the house picking up stuff. I never get it all done because there's just too much stuff. Most of it's mine. I can yell at my kids all I want, but most of the stuff is mine. It's my papers, it's my books, it's my clothes, it's my, mis you know, because things don't get put away. And, you know, that's just a whole other, like, not putting things away. But really, you know, it comes down to either I don't have enough good systems in place or I just have too much stuff. And you can have too much paper. Paper is such a nemesis way. But, Anyway, it's just something to think about, especially with the holidays coming up, with people wanting to buy you gifts, which is amazing and so generous. But, you know, it's again, it's going to be bringing more stuff into your life. And so this period, this week right now, right before Advent starts, is like my purge week. Not only am I cleaning, but if I find something that is not adding value, it's gone. Because, you know, it's just one extra thing to take care of. Like the minimalists say, you know, the cost of your item isn't just that initial purchase cost, or maybe it was a free and it was given to you, but you have to take care of that item. You have to find a home for that item. You have to maintain that item, you know, and all those kinds of things. So um, I just, I don't know. I just thought maybe this video would be helpful this time of year to kind of step back and look at your things. If you ever have like your monster mommy come out because all of a sudden your house, it just feels messy and nothing's put away. A lot of the times, the stuff that's not put away either has a home that's too inconvenient, so you're not using it, or even worse, it doesn't have a home, or you just haven't touched it in months, and maybe it's time to let go of it and give it away to somebody else. You know, I'm not saying throw it in the garbage, unless it's garbage. You know, you can donate it to a thrift store. My church has a thrift store, you, can, you know, Goodwill, homeless shelter, you know, you guys know where to put your stuff. But, and then for your kids, especially this time of year, you know, have them go through their things. My kids will let go of stuff because I've taught them that that is what we do in this family, that we don't hang on to things past, 
their point of usefulness or sentimentality, but only a little bit of sentimentality because kids can get really attached to stuff. Um, and the minimal mom has a lot of really, really great um, ideas. So I will pin her like kids list below. And I think she has some Christmas stuff going on too. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And if you guys want me to talk about minimalism more and like how that looks as a Catholic or just, you know, as a person, because it, it does, I think it totally, totally relates to Catholicism and being a good Christian, but obviously anyone can benefit from this. And if you guys have any other kind of videos that you want me to do this Advent season in particular, please let me know because I'm all ears. And um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a blessed weekend. Bye. <music>